Raja Prachepi, it's good to see you. Nice to see you. So tell us a little bit about Akrivia and how it came to be and what it's all about. Um, Akrivia is uh, an atelier. Uh, we produce the two line. I created uh, this brand in uh, 2012. And uh, yeah, the goal is um, to making and to respect the tradition, traditional watchmaking. Today we start our watch and we finish totally our watch, we do every step and for me it's very important to respect what I learned and what at this time what was my motivation. I chose to be watchmaker because I really like this decoration, the finishing, the time you spend to, to doing a watch and, uh, and to thinking for the future, not to doing a watch maybe fashion watch but to doing a watch um, or can give the right time, uh, the chronometry, finishing, and uh, yeah, uh, aesthetically uh, need to be nice. Wonderful. And today we're looking at some of the pieces, of course, uh, the uh, Recep Recepi chronometer contemporain, um, which is, uh, which is the, the first of its kind in its collection. Uh, we're going to be looking at the AK-06 as well as the Tourbillon Barret Miroir. Maybe we start uh, at, the, at the very beginning with the, with the Tourbillon piece um, and we talk a little bit about that. Um, this is the Tourbillon Barret Miroir. You have our minute. Um, the Tourbillon make a revolution on one minute. Uh, we have 100 hour poiser. Um, the dial here in the middle is um, hand hammering and every index is um, blowing by, by heat. Mm. Um, we, the construction of the dial is like an old um, dial, like really traditional, you know, we have the two, um, the, uh, the, the prongs. Yeah, prongs, yep. exactly. Um, uh, on the back you see every time the symmetry. We try really to, to start first to making the design, for example, and after that to find solution to decorate. Because, for example, when you see this bridge, the central bridge, it's uh, still it's like the identity of Akrivia. But of for example, to doing this black polish, it's uh, it's really really hard, you know. And, and and we don't make a compromise in in finishing, you know. Tremendous. So next up, we have the the first non tourbillon piece, uh, which is really remarkable. This is my personal favorite. And tell us a little bit about the AK06. Um, the AK, AK06, it's um, you have hundred hour power is there. Okay. Um, for one uh, barrel, um, the goal it was to open the dial and to show to the people how we con how we construct, but how we finish uh, yeah. our, our, our watch. Um, here, I try to combine aesthetically and technically these two. And uh, for example, here you have one rock you transmit the information, but when you transmit information, when you have complication, you would take energy. And you're power. losing. You're losing. Yes, that's right. Exactly. This is why I put this other rock here totally symmetrically. Uh, to compensate this uh, this kind of friction, you know. Sure. Uh, uh, here you have a stop uh, balance and a reset second. When you pull the crown, you can set up at the right time. Beautiful. When you pull the crown, you have the second compact. And you can see the balance wheel stop in the back as well. Sure. All right. Tremendous. And this is this is the first smaller case as well uh, from the AK series. Exactly. We're at the 41. Beautiful watch. We do this in steel and in titanium. In titanium it's with a yellow dial and um, in the steel it's in grey dial. So lastly we'll we'll get to probably one of the most talked about watches of 2018 and up until now in 2019, the uh, RR01, uh, both in rose gold and in platinum. Um, we do 25 uh, watches in rose gold and 25 in platinum. Um, in uh, rose gold, it's a uh, uh, black enamel dial, grand feu. Uh, in this watch is um, this watch is chronometer. Uh, it's certified by the Observatory of Besançon. Uh, they make a test during 16 days. 16 day test. Yeah, exactly. In different position, different temperature. Um, in this watch, you have still the uh, reset second. Uh, for example, with the chronometer, I think it's nice to to put on the right time and to see if the watch is precise, accurate or not. Of course. Yeah, uh, for me it's, it's very important. So when you pull the crown out, you're going to see that second reset to zero. Exactly. We just 
you have the second here, and uh, when I pull the crown, come yeah. back to zero, and you can put at the right time. And of course, probably one of the most impressive things is the finishing, the movement finishing, and the, the variety of different styles of finishing that you see on here, right? The goal it was really to, um, I really try to, to do something in um, like a pocket watch, you know, to have a really the space and in the same time the deep. Um, uh, and in the same time you have, for example, here the click rocket, it's like a pocket watch, but you can see the big wheels, you know, the finishing, the steel, the black polishing, the symmetry, because of course it's not easy to do. You start with a constraint, you know, because of course. it's more easy to put the wheels in that, in that, room. but now to thinking about you need to have the barrel in the middle, the, the wheel, and yeah, it, um, it's a constraint. You start with a constraint, but I think uh, symmetrically, something symmetric is more beautiful. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind the watch? Yeah, I really want this big second, um, uh, like a pocket watch, but uh, the dial is with this line, with fine line, uh, it's Art Deco. Um, it's important to read perfectly the time, and this is why I think these hands are not thin, but still big, but it's very important for a usual watch, watch um, to wear in every day. You know. and, in, and in the final piece, you've also incorporated a sunken dial on the subdial. Yeah, exactly. Um, for the production piece, sunken to create a little more deeper. Um, the case, it's, uh, you can see it, we have the identity because the, the, the bezel is um, uh, concave but uh, still asymmetric bezel. This um, very long lugs to uh, very ergonomic for, for the wheels yes. for every wheel. Sure. And at 38 millimeters. 38 millimeters. Stunning. And also available in, in the platinum exactly. with the white Grand Fer enamel dial. Exactly. Uh, it's not more available. Well, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately they're all sold out. So, yeah. but uh, that's that's the that's the result of a tremendous success. And of course, I think what you also you know, didn't mention is this was the GPHG winner um, in the men's category uh, in 2018 in November. Yeah, it's it's a big organization, of course. Um, you know, we are here since now seven years and. Um, it was more difficult the first years and now of course it's a big motivation for us uh, to be recognized by by these people. Yeah. Great, wonderful. Rajab, thank you so much for thank your you time. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thanks a, a lot. Thank you.